loves welcome back to my channel i've been away for six weeks now and i'm really 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 sorry i absolutely hate when i do this i hate when i go off youtube for periods of time and i come back and i explain why because i really feel like i'm letting you guys down i feel like i'm letting myself down this time around i was on holiday for two weeks in cornwall in august and before that i had the raging flu for about two weeks which was absolutely horrendous so for about a month I've been out of action, well so to speak, I have been doing things on my blog and on my Instagram but sometimes when you need to make YouTube videos, if you're not feeling your best or if you're away, you can't really sit down with a camera and film anything. But I really genuinely want to make a conscious effort to really revamp my channel and to make lots of content that I love to make and to take it back a little bit to the old school days when I used to make a lot more disability related videos and I'm going to start as I mean to go on because today I'm going to be doing a video on a disability campaign but before I start I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to my channel because we're almost up to 4k now I can't believe it we're like four subscribers away from 4k well we are when I'm making this video maybe when I've made this video it'll be different but thank you so much to everybody who subscribed I'm so so delighted but for now let's get back to talking about disability and specifically a disability equality campaign this campaign is called disability game changer and it's been created by the UK disability charity scope now some of you might remember scope here on this channel because I've worked with them before I worked on the hashtag in the awkward campaign two years in a row I've done lots of blogs with them I I've written blogs about disability representation in children's books. The Disability Game Changers campaign was created to highlight the fact that disability inequality still exists within the UK. The campaign was created after extensive research and surveys were conducted into the way that disabled people in the UK live their lives. And what the campaign really highlights and focuses on is the fact that disability inequality still exists within the UK and that there needs to be a lot of work done to change this. Things like technology came up, social care, employment came up, lots of different topics came up towards the way that disability inequality still exists and it's really highlighting the fact that disabled people still feel that there's a lot of barriers and boundaries to them being able to live an ordinary life. I'll link the information on the campaign down in the description if you want to go and read more on this. To put this into perspective, one in five people in the UK alone live with a disability. 49% of disabled people said that they felt excluded in some way by society. Only a shocking 23% of people felt valued by society and only 42% of people thought that the UK was a good place to live when you have a disability. Now one of the key ways that you can see that disability inequality still exists is by looking at the news. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of reports on disabled people within the UK and other parts of the world having achievements but there is still a huge amount of news reports that talk about some way that a disabled person has been discriminated against or that they are not having their needs met or that they have been unequally treated. And I'm one of those people who've had a report written on me like that. I've had reports written about how I, as a guide dog owner, have been discriminated against because I have been turned away from a public place because I have a guide dog. I, as a disabled person, as a person with a severe visual impairment and a chronic illness face disability inequality sometimes on a daily basis and it ranges in things that happen to me so here's a list of some of the things that I experience because of my disability. I experience it when I am turned away from a public place because I work with a guide dog. I face it when I'm told that my disability should dictate how I should look and act and feel. I face it when people insinuate both in real life and online that I'm lying about my disability, that I don't look like I have a disability, that I look too normal or that I don't look disabled. I face inequality as a disabled person when I try to make a journey to London. However, when I do get into London and I want to commute around like everybody else, I have to instead take detours to other stations because I can't use a lot of stations because of the fact that they are not accessible to someone who has a guide dog who isn't escalator trained. So instead of being able to use a station, I will either have to make a longer journey or I have to get a cab to somewhere because of the fact that, that that station isn't accessible, which in turn costs me a lot of more money and a lot more time. When if a station was made accessible to me as a disabled person, I would be able to make that journey so much more quickly and with so much less fuss. 
but because of the fact that I have a disability, I can't make that same journey as everybody else. I could face it when I go onto a website, but to my disappointment, I discovered that the website isn't accessible to someone who uses voiceover, or maybe there isn't good color contrast for me to be able to read it. I face it again when I in turn voice my opinions and my feedback to the website provider, and then they give me the cold shoulder. They don't even respond, nothing. Or they do respond, but it's, oh, we'll look into it, and nothing ever changes. Although, I will say there are websites who have done that and who actually have worked with me as a consultant and improved their website, but not all of them do, sadly enough. I face inequality when daily tasks become harder and longer because of the fact that things aren't always accessible to me as someone with a disability. I'm rather fed up with having to talk about inequality. I'm rather fed up with always having to try and fight to end inequality, but fight I will continue to. Even if it is me talking to a camera online about inequality, I will still do it. I have now become a disability game changer. I mean, I kind of already was, I guess, but now officially, thanks to Scope, I can call myself a disability game changer. I'm a disability game changer for a number of reasons. I'm a disability game changer because I want to live in a society where people with disabilities, including myself, don't face inaccessibility on a daily basis. I'm a disability game changer because I want people with disabilities to be able to access the help and the social care that they need. I'm a disability game changer because I want matters of disability discrimination to be taken more seriously both socially and legally. I'm a disability game changer because I want to see more people who are of the working age and have a disability and who want to find work and who are actively seeking work to be able to find employment. I'm a disability game changer because I want to see more disabled people in positions of power and influence that have a role in shaping the way that us as disabled people live our lives. Personally, I would like decisions that affect my life to be made by someone who knows what it's like to live with a disability. I'm a disability game changer because I want to live in a society where people with disabilities have all the services, all the support and everything that they need to be able to get on and live an independent and fulfilled life. And I guess what I'm trying to say here is that I don't think it's fair that people with disabilities, including myself, have to constantly fight to get the things that they need to live an equal life to someone who doesn't have a disability. We're just asking for equality. That's all we want. But now you can become a disability game changer as well. I'll leave the link in the description box below where you can sign up to the campaign and give your honest thoughts to Scope about how you think disability equality needs to happen and the things that you think personally need to be done. Whether you're a disabled person or not, whether you're affected personally by disability inequality or it's someone you know and love who's affected by it, we can all have our opinions, we can all have our say, and we can all, in some way, change attitudes towards disability. But suffice it to say, sadly, in the UK alone, disability inequality still exists, and I still hear many stories from friends and colleagues who've got disabilities about how they face inequality, and I think it's about time that that changed. If you want to become a disability game changer, then do sign up to Scope's Disability Game Changer campaign via the link below, and also do share your thoughts on this campaign, share your videos, share your stories about how you face disability inequality, and the things that affect you directly and do share them under the hashtag disability game changer let me know in the comments your thoughts on this campaign and any experiences that you've had yourself with disability inequality and i'd really love to read them i'm sorry it was a bit more of a rant than it usually is but this is a topic that still gets me really fired up so you know at the end of the day disability inequality is not going to be all happy and jolly it's annoying it's frustrating it's upsetting and you need to be honest about it so I hope you can understand that. Now I do not want this video to discredit the work that's been done to raise awareness of disability equality and to try and campaign for further equality and disability rights all over the world as well as in the UK but that doesn't mean to say that it can't be improved. So thank you all for watching this video today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and also click the little notification bell down below if you want to be updated when I make new videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!